through the first furlong or so. Race at three in the park, let's go. EBF Phillies novice stakes, and there's a bit of pace on here in the early stages. Loic has gone forward. Flowers look like she might get an easiest lead on paper, but that hasn't quite eventuated. She sits in second, though, the white sleeves. Another beautiful in the red cap racing in third spot, followed by Rosa Chinensis, the hoop jacket, the white sleeves and cap is in fourth. Then a Marbell's Dream, followed by the light blue colours of Grand Providence. Bit of a gap back then to Dorothea Brooke. Lady Bracken is last but one, and the slow starting tier wings has caught up, possibly indicative of not a desperately fast early pace here. So it's Loic that leads them by a length and a half to Flowers, who's just in behind in second. Another beautiful now in the hands of Trevor Whelan races in third spot. Rosa Chinensis is in fourth, and Marbell's Dream is in fifth up the inside. Sheepskin noseband there of Grand Providence towards the outer. Then Dorothea Brook, followed by the very pale jacket of Lady Bracken, and Tio Wings is still at the back of the field. Making their way past the halfway point over on the back straight there. They're inside the final six furlongs, and it's Loic who continues to lead to Flowers, who's been in a slipstream throughout. Then up the inside, another beautiful in the red and white colours, followed then by Rosa Chinensis, Luke Morris poised aboard that one. Then a Marbell's Dream up the inside. Grand Providence just gets a little bit closer and is travelling quite nicely. They're then followed by Dorothea Brooke up the inside of Lady Bracken, and still at the rear of the field, Tio Wings, as they start to make the turn at the top of the track. Three and a half furlongs left to go. Loic's been on the sharp end throughout, now just being nudged along. Similar comments could apply to Flowers, though, who's also the recipient of a fairly vigorous ride. Another beautiful's up the inside. Rosa Chinensis turns rather wide, is angling for a run, but still goes very well. Then Grand Providence, the sheepskin noseband, who's all dressed up with nowhere to go at the moment, down towards the final two furlongs and the cutaway. And it's Rosa Chinensis that now just about goes on to the big outside. Another beautiful, who's run a good race, win, lose, or draw here. Grand Providence, the far side, they're now well on from Flowers and Dorothea Brook. Down towards the final furlong they go. Another beautiful, a tough nut to crack here for Rosa Chinensis. And Grand Providence over on the far side as well. And it's Grand Providence who's now really kicking in the turbo and goes on by a length, length and a half. Make that two and racing up towards the line. A nice performance in the end. Grand Providence has beaten Rosa Chinensis. Another beautiful, a big run in third. Long gap back to Flowers, who finished in fourth. All came together.